Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video by the one and only actually Anna. And today I've got a very exciting video. Well, I guess it's exciting. We're in a different background since it's like literally 10 p.m. here, and I'm filming this, and I have to edit it, make the thumbnail, do everything for it to go up tomorrow. So <laughs> that's great because tomorrow I'm really busy all day. As you can see, I'm in a different background because it's darker and like it has like probably the worst light ever here. So I got the best lighting I could. I have some of my makeup over there. I just tried to make the background a bit cuter and um, it made it a bit, if you can even see it. So guys, before starting the video, make sure and check out my collab channel. This is Victoria Renee, or oh, Renee, I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but she has the most amazing quality videos. She's so fun, uplifting, so everybody go and check it out. Give this, give her video a big thumbs up. The link will be down below, and if you subscribe to her, then comment down below, and I might give you a shout out on one of my socials. So if you're here to actually watch this video, you just watch my usual videos, Hello to the new people, subscribe if you haven't because this video is going to be fun and informatical, is that a word? Informational, okay. So this is beginners, no, beginners, <laughs> so this video, I can't, I can't remember, is beginners makeup kit. So I have a kit for all you beginners starting and I've re been requesting, like people have requested me this video like for quite a long time and I forgot about it and then I came across this channel which had like a makeup look so I decided why not do this because at the start when I did want makeup I did search for these videos and I didn't really come across people my age. So it might be 12 to like 15 year old makeup kit. I have here my bag and it's just a simple nice bag. You can get a clear bag but I find this one's so much easier because it's divided into units. So it's divided into four units so I can put everything. So in my first unit, as you can see here, I have all my brushes and sponges. In my second unit, I have all like the face like powder concealer products. Third one, I have all the lipsticks and blush, or if you want bronzer. And here I have my eyeshadows and my mascaras. Or mascara. I start off with the like your face, like what you apply with. So the most important thing if you're gonna start with that, you can always use your fingers. Don't be scared to use your fingers. Fingers are definitely not the best thing to apply makeup, but if you're starting off, fingers can do a great job. So a more professional alternative for fingers is a beauty blender. So a beauty blender looks like this, and it's a sponge. This one's from Real Techniques, which I definitely advise against since it's cheap, soft, and definitely a more affordable version than the real beauty blender which is £16, this one's £6 and I got this a promotion for Asda, £3. A beauty blender is used to blend out foundation, concealer and cream products. If you guys want me to do like a beginner's like makeup look then tell me down below so I can tell you guys how to use like a beauty blender and stuff but you usually just a dab. Then we go on to the brushes and I've got here three very important brushes. So these are all from Primark and they're so so affordable and cheap. So this one is an eyeshadow brush. It was one pound and it's a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Absolutely amazing and perfect. Number two is our powder brush which is very important and I believe this is like two pound. The top came off, but you can just use it as a kabuki anyway, but you can super glue it back on. This one was the most like expensive and it was two pound fifty. And it's a contour and highlighter brush, brush, but I'm 
just going to use a highlighter if you want to. We have an eyebrow spoolie, which is just to brush out your eyebrows, which I think is an absolutely amazing needed product really cheap and affordable now we're going actual on to makeup and not brushes and stuff we're going to start off with our, our base and i'm on holiday right now so i don't have like the, the most beginners concealer but we have here the revolution conceal and define so the concealer is to go under your eyes and to brighten up your face and to like camouflage your dark eyes so it is the colour of your skin, so you should either choose the shade of your skin or just one tone lighter. So this is a full coverage concealer, so if you have acne and stuff, I would consider getting this. Or you just want a full coverage look. Or also the Maybelline Fit Me is absolutely an amazing, not dupe, because this is more, this is, this is £4. The other one is £5.99, I believe. And then you also have the collection concealer, which is absolutely amazing too, which is £4.99. And this one's just £4. But before concealer, you usually you can use any moisturiser, but I like to use a primer. And this is from Rimmel London, and it's the Instant Insta Flawless. Hashtag Insta Flawless. And this is a perfected radiant skin tint. So this could either be used as a primer or a skin tint. So you can just throw this on with the beauty blender and it's absolutely amazing. Or you could just use it as a primer to keep your makeup on for a longer time. This has SPF in it and it's just absolutely amazing. It has natural looking glow, 24 hour moisturization, primes and perfects. So it's absolutely amazing and I think I got this from promotion at Asda which I definitely recommend for £5.99 and I think the retail normal price is £7 something but this is definitely worth it. After that I like to powder and powdering is probably the best thing you can do and this is the Stay Back by Rimmel, a fave by all. I got this for £4.99 I believe and it's in the shade 005 Silky Beige and you also have the transparent one and this, this is what it looks like. I've used it and as you can see, so it's absolutely amazing, it mattens your face. So I can't even read like this what the top says but it's a lightweight powder formulated with natural minerals for up to nine hours of matte finish and it helps to minimize the appearance of pores and hide imperfections from flawless skin and it's also a great way just to set your makeup so it stays on longer and it looks way better and my favorite thing is highlighter so i feel like the highlighter is beginner and i think this is the most beginner friendly highlighter i do have and this is by Clinique. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm really sorry. And it's a chubby stick and it's a shade zero and hefty highlighter. However, this is a cream highlighter as you can see. And if you do apply this, make sure to apply it before the powder. Otherwise, this can move up your makeup and mess it all up. So if you're using any cream products, make sure to use it before any powder product. I just feel like this is so nice, a subtle wink highlighter, or it can go absolutely crazy if you apply more. Love that highlighter. Or we, we also have a powder highlighter, which I have in the last like little department because this is a duo so this has highlighter and eyeshadow and this highlight is probably too like bright but you can get more subtle highlighters but if you do want a brighter highlighter you can also get highlighter powder powder powders but definitely get some from revolution Anyway, L'Oreal Maybelline in collection because they have some amazing highlighters. A powder product you can use is blush. Here I have a high end blush, but I also do have a drugstore blush and it's from Coverstar. Um, but it's like not the best, but it definitely just gives you a subtle look. 
this one's not as subtle but it does give you an absolutely amazing blush and uh, this is my benefit um but i know real techniques not real techniques i know technique do some uh, beautiful ones revolution and who else oh l'oreal do an absolutely amazing peach blushes and if you want to go more into high-end peach no, blushes you have benefit which are an amazing brand also too faced so and tart so those are amazing and then we're going on to eyes so as i told you guys this revolution egg is a duo so it comes with highlighters and eyeshadows and here we have some very friendly nude eyeshadows so we have a base colour, we have a darker brown, like a chestnut colour, and then we have a darker brown, and these are all mattes, and you can put these in your crease, they look amazing, and then for your lid, we have two very shimmery shades, these are amazing, and the highlighters you can use on your lid too, and for your inner corner. And the top of your brow bone, but that's more professional, I guess. Um, but I would definitely recommend this if you can get this. This is £4.99, I believe, and it's amazing. Like, I swatched one of the highlighters with a swipe and look at it. Then we have the one and only mascara. So here I have a unique mascara, and I don't really have any, like, affordable mascaras. But this one is an absolutely amazing and I definitely recommend L'Oreal mascaras. They are so, so good. Lancome mascaras, which are way overpriced, but they're so good. Benefit mascaras. If you guys have the chance to buy a Benefit mascara, definitely go for it. But if you really just want to go to a shop and buy one, I'm trying to think of one. I would definitely either go for Maybelline or L'Oreal. And lastly, for lips, I have three different choices. I have the classic lipstick, and this is from Technique, and it's just a lovely nude colour. As a beginner, I definitely would go for nude colours, or brighter colours if you would enjoy them. This is just a baby pink, and it's such, such a beautiful colour. You could also use like this on your cheeks. Um, but I wouldn't really do that, but you can. Lip crayon, and this is Clinique, and this is in the shade A Whole Lot of Honey, and I broke this, but look, yeah, you can't really see this, but it's a beautiful brown, nudish colour, and I absolutely would recommend this. I'm not sure how much the price is. Then I have this lip gloss, which I don't know which brand it is, but look how beautiful it is. Lip gloss is definitely a beginner safe. Um, I think lip gloss can just save everything. And this is a little travel size lip gloss. This is I'm on holiday. So guys, now it's the end of the video. Make sure to go check out Victoria Winnie and my collab this week. Well, this Wednesday, which is incredible since I have another one coming out on Sunday. But she's an absolutely amazing, talented star. YouTuber, small YouTuber, growing amazingly. So go and give her a big thumbs up, subscribe to her. And when you have, good down there so you can get onto my socials. Maybe a shout out? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, please do like this video. Subscribe and comment down below if you're actually going to use any of these products, if you're going to buy any of these products, and if you want a beginner's makeup look. I love you guys so, so much. Mwah. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love it. I'll see you guys Sunday. Oh, I am is trouble, trouble, trouble. Hey.